Georgina. Hi. Hey, Sean. Hi. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. Um, great to see you. Dean, good to see you. Hello, Georgina. Hi. Great to, great to see you all. Um, now, I can see I've got, I've got, <laughs> I've got three Ruans. So uh, perhaps, hi, and Joe, um, perhaps we could, uh, uh, and I've got four Ruans now, four, <laughs> four Ruans. Perhaps those of you that have come in as Ruan, um, <laughs> we found you out. Would you mind changing your name? You just go into the video at the top, the video, uh, your video screen, just hover over it, top right hand uh, button, you've got three dots. Just go in there and it says rename. Perhaps you could just rename yourself as your real name um, rather than <laughs> rather than Ruan. I think what's happened is you've come in under his registration. So if you could do that, then, then uh, we, I'll make sure I'm talking to the right person. <laughs> uh, so thank you. <laughs> Um, welcome. welcome everyone. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Um, this is this is a, a meeting, not a webinar. So uh, as you'll see, um, uh, you're able to interact and uh, uh, and chat and, and ask questions. As we move through uh, what we're going to cover today, perhaps if you do want to ask a question, you've got if you hover at the bottom of your screen, there's reactions. And you'll see there's kind of like a hand up or just raise your hand physically like this. Then I can see uh, that you want to ask a question. Those of you um, who haven't, if you could turn your cameras on, that would be great. It makes life a lot easier for me uh, to be able to see when you want to ask questions as well. So, uh, so that would be great if you wouldn't mind. Um, so uh, hi, Drickus, good to see you. Um, great to see so many of you here. Uh, my name's Georgina Smith. Uh, I look after the distribution team for Innate, and you can see there's a few of us. A few of us here. Um, we've got Ruan, who's uh, in the in the screen at the top, certainly on the top of my screen. Um, Tegan, uh, Victor, and Sanka, who are all uh, our BDMs who look after Hereford and Hampshire advisors. And I've got two other guests with me from Innate as well today, which is uh, Adi, uh, Adi Jans van Rensberg, who's our uh, head of product for Offshore. And I've got Zane, who's our head of operations for Offshore as well. So we've got a full complement uh, coming, coming in to, to see you. Firstly, I want to say thank you so much to all of you for giving up uh, your time, valuable time. I know it is. Um, and you might well be thinking, well, why am I here? Why, am I, why have I given up an hour of my time uh, to the innate offshore team? Well, um, firstly, I think some of you are aware of us. Some of, you, some of you know who we are, but a lot of you perhaps don't, don't know what we do, don't know, don't know the, the sort of things we can, we can do for you and do together, which is what today is all about. So, so today is all about the start of a journey, the start of a partnership uh, between Innate, which is the Stanlib offshore platform. It's the, the brand of the new platform, uh, both local and offshore, but today we're talking about offshore. So it's the start of that partnership journey uh, in the offshore world. And I've been spending a lot of time with Mike and, uh, and, and our BDMs have been spending a lot of time with you guys really understanding what some of the issues are you've been facing with innate i'm not going to i'm not going to pretend it's perfect at the moment we're at the very start of a journey of building an offshore proposition together our offshore proposition has been in the market for general ifas for a couple of years now but now we want to make something that works for you we want to make something that works for hereford it works uh, for hampshire and really kind of get under the skin of the things you want the things you need to see and today is really the start of, of that journey. So I'm going to show uh, share a quick video uh, for those of you that's not that haven't experienced innate. And then uh, I'm going to go into really a bit more about the journey of, of, of where we've been and where we're going. Um, so if you just bear with me, uh, let's let's kick that video off. Yeah. 
Innate is an independent investment platform solution inspired by South African wealth managers to change the way investments are done. We are purpose-built, advisor-inspired. Diversifying your client's portfolio by investing offshore should be a simple, seamless and elegant process. Our proposition provides you, the wealth manager, with a truly offshore investment platform domiciled in Jersey, meaning no VAT charges on the platform or tax deducting within the portfolios. Six international currencies including the United States Dollar, British Pound, Hong Kong Dollar, Australian Dollar, Swiss Franc and Euro. A wide range of clean priced funds and ETFs supported by our portfolio modeling tool to help you make confident investment decisions. No minimum investment term or amount, cash and transfer in specie, fully facilitated by our expert offshore support team and packaged model portfolios that DFMs and CAT2 advisors can easily create and distribute. We are transforming the investment landscape with simple and elegant technology. We have designed our platform to be intuitive such that it will become innate to the way you do business. Our offshore investment platform is simple, transparent and easy to use with locally supported client onboarding and seamless straight through processing which packages, distributes and administers a wide range of offshore funds. As a wealth manager, investing via a single platform that acts as an administration service for your client's investments simplifies your business. Our service promise is simple to be insightful, collaborative, and offer responsive delivery. The Advisor Dashboard offers a holistic view of your business. At a glance, you can view total funds under administration, gain instant access to client details, and get a quick overview of latest client transactions and status updates. No call center required. It takes three simple steps to create an investment proposal for a prospective client. Once you have provided basic client details, chosen your proposed funds or model portfolio and asset allocation, a customized digital investment proposal will be created for you to easily share with your prospective client. We understand how important it is to invest your client's money as quickly as possible. With our platform, you can go from capturing a client to getting your client in the market within 48 hours. Easily add a new client to your business in three steps. Once complete, four documents are instantly generated to start the process. A welcome letter, an application summary, payment instructions and charging schedule. Once you've captured the client online, you only need to upload AML and other supporting documents via the secure web. When approved, your client can send their money to the platform's Jersey bank account. No couriering necessary, no wet signatures required. We are truly digital. We offer an open fund architecture so you can manage the investment component to satisfy your client's unique needs. You can compare portfolios and gain access to a range of powerful research tools, fact sheets and reports via our research hub. Through our collaborative partnerships, we enable the opportunity for you to easily analyze and understand your client's investments, putting the power in your hands. A simple portfolio scan creates a report with a performance chart, asset allocation and risk return. Write a short note to your client and include your branding on the document. 24-7 access means you can view and create reports on demand. DFMs and CAT2 advisors can easily manage your client's investments in real time by accessing the Model Portfolio Manager tool. Our range of reports include client statements and client valuation reports which allow you to choose the relevant reporting currency so you can advise your clients on how their investment is meeting their goals. Once in the market, log on to easily update any client's investments. You or your client can top up the investment at any time. A once-off setup of a regular investment means your client can simply push money to the platform on a regular basis and we will auto-allocate based on an initial instruction. No need for you to log in every month and allocate cash to chosen portfolios. Want to move between currencies? The FX journey is simple, low cost and all online. We are regulated by South Africa the UK and Jersey, a well-recognized and well-regulated offshore jurisdiction, giving you and your clients peace of mind while their money is invested on the innate platform. Our fee structure is easy to understand and has been built with simplicity in mind. When calculating platform fees, we aggregate all client assets across all currencies and accounts, ensuring your clients get value for money for their administration. We believe our offshore solution is unique and has the potential to add real value to your business and your client's portfolio.
videos. The Innate Experience is not only a system or platform. Our service team is committed to responsive delivery, collaborative problem solving, and first-time resolutions. All advisors are allocated a dedicated business development manager and key account manager who are focused on the relationship with the advisor and their back office. Simple, easy-to-use technology supported with useful and helpful human interaction. 24-7 access means clients can view their dashboard on demand. They will always have a view of their investments through our secure website. All client documents and communication regarding investments are securely stored online and easily accessible by you and your client via the platform, removing the need to download, email or print. We are paperless. Innate offers a purpose-built, advisor-inspired offshore investment platform that makes your life as an advisor easier, elevates your client's experience to create confidence and helps you grow your business and your client's wealth. Thanks very much, uh, and thanks for, for, for uh, paying attention during the video. Um, I wanted to start there because um, that's, that's pretty much the offshore platform in a nutshell. Now I want to take a step back and say, okay, so some people haven't had the experience we wanted them to have. Some things have needed ironing out. Some things uh, haven't quite worked as we wanted them to. Some things have been a little bit bumpy in the past. And uh, about three months ago, Mike, uh, very kindly, Mike Dundalakis and I, we got together and we said, okay, come on, let's fix this thing. Let's try and build something that works for Hereford, Hampshire, Innate, all of us. Because if we get it right for you, we're gonna be getting it right for a lot of people out there in the market as well. And before this webinar, before this meeting rather, that I, I, we were well, Ruan sent round a, a document uh, which is a, a document, which is a work in progress document as to the partnership and the goals we want to achieve with you uh, in the offshore space. We know that clients, you know, offshore is a really big and, and huge topical uh, topic of uh, interest for your clients at the moment. So we really want to get this right for you. And what we identified with Mike was quite a few areas where we thought we could improve, quite a few areas where we thought we could do things that are very, that are special for you guys, for both Hereford and Hampshire advisors, and really um, make the experience as good as we can, um, given that we're dealing with three jurisdictions as well, uh, the South African jurisdiction, Jersey and the UK. So what I want to do is, is I don't want to share that document, it's very wordy, but I do want to touch on some of the things that you've highlighted have been frustrations for you. And it's not just frustrations with our platform, there's the same frustrations with a lot of other platforms as well. And really talk about how we're looking to fix them and how we're looking to fix them together. Um, and as I move through these, please do, you know, stick your hand up, put, put uh, stuff in the chat at the bottom. Please don't hold back. Um, this is very much a two-way conversation, a two-way uh, experience so that we can really kind of gather your thoughts and your experiences. Um, and we've come a huge distance just in the short while that, uh, that we've been dealing with, with uh, some of you and particularly Mike in the last few months. So we've definitely achieved a huge amount. So if I, if I just look at the, the, the first part of, uh, of uh, the frustrations um, that we've had, um, what, what, you, what you told us was that, um, was that our service turnaround times weren't as good as they should be. You, you had a frustration that um, think, uh, AML was taking too long to, uh, to approve and there was a lot of backwards and forwards. And perhaps there were people working in our uh, servicing, also in our sister, our, our, our platform, which we sit on, which is the Novia platform, where which we white labeled to use in South Africa. There was a, a thought that perhaps the, the turnarounds could be better. So we've done a huge amount in this area just in the last few months. Um, I'm really delighted to welcome uh, both Adi and Zane. Um, that has really strengthened our, our proposition and our service proposition uh, within this area. And, and Zane particularly is solely focused on offshore. That's all he does now. Whereas before he was, he was uh, 
spread across uh, uh, quite quite thinly across local our local platform and our offshore platform. So that's the first change. And then the other change is we put in place a whole load of reports that helps us get much better visibility of where your where your case is. So if you submit a case to us, we know pretty well um, daily where it's got to with regard to the back end processing at Novia. And we can get on it very quickly if there are outstanding AML requirements or we need to uh, delve a bit de deeper into some of the risk questions. So, so that's already an area where we've, where we've added uh, quite a significant amount of value. And on the back end, what we've got is we've had Novia, we've been to Novia and we've said, this isn't, you know, this isn't as good as it should be. They've now recruited four people who are, um, and one of whom is specifically uh, assigned to Innate really to match um, what we need in this market and get on our stuff very quickly. Of course, Novia Global operate all around the world and uh, we don't want to compete with them. We want to have our own bespoke uh, people uh, that look after us. And not only that as well, we've also tagged your email addresses. Um, so all of your email addresses have now been tagged so that they're priority. So that when you do send something in, it goes straight to the top of the pile uh, as opposed to going into the melee of everything else. So they're the, the few things we've done already. They're, they were the short term quick hits that we've done. Any questions around what I've, what I've just said so far? Cool, okay. Um, I'm going to move on to, to the next thing that, uh, that, that was highlighted by a lot of you uh, it was certainly an issue for Mike, and I know some of you had uh, issues with our um, with our client reporting. Felt it was very basic. Felt it wasn't as good as it should be. So on the back of that, um, and we we obviously we did hear it from other people in the market as well. We've launched two new reports. Um, one is our dynamic uh, client statement, where you can choose um, where you can choose a, a date range. Um, and a, a currency. And the other is your client valuation report, which shows a, a huge amount more detail than, than you used to have. Um, they've been very well received. Um, we're, we always have a, uh, uh, you know, we, we always are working with currencies and trying to make sure that we get um, the, the, the clearest, most transparent way of showing data in the right currency, whether it's a reporting currency of RAND or whether it's the base currency in which you've, you've invested. So we've put in some functionality around that. Um, and, you know, we're always looking to seek feedback. So far, I understand, you know, there's, there's been good feedback around that development and bringing those two reports through. I think there's more developments, more improvements we can make around those reports. Um, and, you know, I know, Giorgio, you also brought something up yesterday. Thank you for that. Uh, certainly been taken into it, it, in and logged and, and will be fixed. Um, but really, you know, any other thoughts or questions, those of you who've used the platform, who've seen the, the updated client reports, uh, anything you'd like to add to, to the client reporting there? Okay. I'll take that as a, as a go. I think Georgina, um, yeah. Georgina, sorry. Yeah, look, I, I think the, the 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 changes on the reports are fantastic because they're basic, but they provide all the information that is actually required. So, clients looking for a rand value and a and a return uh, output. So, the simpler the better. Um, yeah. So, I think they're great. Huh? Oh, thanks, Dean. That's really good to hear. Um, and uh, I'm sure that's music to Addy's ears as well. So, uh, having worked so hard to get it. <laughs> to get it to get it through quickly so thanks for that um so we're looking to bring in more developments like that um and and your feedback as you use the platform is so invaluable so please do keep feeding back you know where you can see we can make improvements that are going to work for you as advisors in front of those clients we're really keen to hear from you as to 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 what we could do to to make things better um Another area where I think there was quite a lot of confusion was around the fund lists. So what funds can I uh, invest in? Uh, are my funds available? Um, and uh, what, what, we've, what we've also done is made far more visible and, and, and uh, Ron sent it out in the, in the pre-reading with, uh, with this document 
is making uh, it much more available, those FSCA approved funds that we've got loaded. Also, Addy in a previous life, um, and he still gets heavily involved in it, is uh, he, he does a lot of the fund loading and has done a lot of fund loading in the offshore space as well. So, so we're always um, looking to, to, to service you in the right way. We've got a list of funds that you have been using currently on the CIG platform. Mike, I see your hands up. Please do. Please do. Sorry, man. No, I, I don't mean to interrupt. Um, no, I, just, do. I, just need, I just need to know with, with the statements, have you got um, on the, when you do the valuation, does it say how much was initially invested for the client? It depends. So can, on, yeah. yeah. It, so it I, I can't see, am I, am I just reading it wrong? Because I'm trying to find a, a statement where it says, okay, this is how much you got it, how much you invested a couple of months ago or whatever. And this is what, what it's currently sitting with a percentage. So like Dean said, the, the simpler, the better, but it, does it show like what was the initial investment? I, I I don't seem to see it. Maybe I'm just being silly. No, no, you're not. It's, it depends on the time period you choose. Addy, perhaps you could jump in here and, and, and just explain that for Mike. You need to come off mute though first. There we go. Um, yeah, Mike, it's a, it's absolutely as George said, it's about, about the date range. So if you select the date range on which the, the clients initially invested, then it includes that. If you if you you do it before that, then it then it won't. And we know there's currently issue where the like the since inception date isn't displayed, and and, and we're working with Novi to kind of solve some of that as well. So that's that, that's would... what I wanted. I, I needed yeah. that since since inception. I, I don't see that. Yeah. So it'll it'll either be a, a button where you press since inception, or it'll just be a note to say this is when your client was initially invested, and then it makes it easier for you to select that initial date. Yeah, so we, we stop talking to Novia to see what they can help us with and, and, and where we can get this kind of result. And in the meantime, what Mike needs to do is, which is is a bit of a bit frustrating, I understand, is is actually pick the pick the right date from from inception. That's right, isn't it, Addy? Correct. Yeah. Actually, select that date, and then you then you'll yeah. then you'll get the right the right one. But we know yeah. that needs fixing. It does need fixing, <clears> Mike. <throat> I agree. Yeah, so I'd, I'd like it to be in, in comparison with most other platforms. So uh, also a little bit of feedback from, from Georgia would be welcome, yeah, to make, make it as, because what, what we're trying to do here is that we're trying to like create something and, and I selfishly I say, I actually don't care what, what the rest of the guys have got, but I want something bespoke for us to mm. make to make our offering unique and to have our flavor. So uh, I, I'm not, actually not interested what the rest of the guys have got, but, but for the, for the Hampshire, for the Hereford guys, it, it's got to be something unique, something special that, that we, that we start using and customized. So yeah. I'm, I've been battling with that with some of the clients. I mean, I don't know where, when the date was, I tried to do a statement this morning and it's, I was battling with that. Okay. Um, feedback taken. Uh, Ron can certainly jump on and help you with that, where we, uh, where we were with, wh where those, when those clients were invested and we get that date range right. But we do need to fix that and it's certainly going to be done quite soon. It's something that, uh, that Addy is looking at, uh, it's been looking at for some time actually with Novia. But thanks for that, Mike. It really helps when, when we get feedback like that. So thank you. Georgina. Yeah. Uh, Kerwin. Um, so... On, on the date ranges that you choose, um, obviously you want to be able to navigate as quickly as possible. Um, so instead of just having, and I know we're looking at this since inception, but can you have a, a tab where it just says last month, last quarter, uh, last year? Um, coupled with uh, bulk statements, um, I don't know how, I, I haven't spent too much on the bulk statement side, but um, sending out a quarterly statement instead of sending individual statements, is there is there a way that you can actually say send bulk statements and automatically sends it to the email address of your client? Uh, there's no bulk statement functionality at the moment, but I think that's that's a, a great uh, that would be a great um, improvement to make as your clients grow. You want to be able to, to to bang them out really easily. So I totally understand why you'd want to do that. I can see Addy writing furiously there, making sure it goes on the on the requirements list. Anything you want to add to that, Addy? 
Um, yeah, just on just on those kind of preset uh, preset dates, I, I don't think it's a it shouldn't be too difficult to do. There are some preset dates, but I think the time frames aren't kind of those that you've mentioned. They they kind of a year to date, one year, and, and things like that. So uh, and I think since inception. So uh, so I think it is there. We just we just need to kind of chat to Novi and see how we can add some additional ones in there. So it's fairly out of the box, and when you generate it, it's all there. And then, and then I guess it would be the same. You'd have it in the same sort of button. So you'd have a since inception, and then you'd have those those as time periods that you could choose going forward. So yeah. that that would make sense. Okay, super. Thank you for that. Um, anything else on that before I move on? So uh, George Zainia, um, I just wanted to add uh, we do have the bulk functionality. Um, so when you go into the statements, you can actually select various clients um, at the same time and you can actually upload those statements to the client's document folder so the client could go into their view and they'd be able to see those documents so there is somewhat some sort of bulk uh, functionality there George. Oh thank you thank you Zane I, I actually hadn't hadn't used that or come across that so thank you that's even better so now we just need the date range now we just need the the, the specified date so thanks for that okay brilliant uh, that's the beauty of having having Zane, who who pretty much built the platform to start with, on uh, on the call, um, and and him and his team are fantastic at uh, hand holding. If you're using the platform for the first time, him and his team are super at hand holding you through it, along with your BDMs as well. Um, so just moving on to the fun. So uh, we know there's um, uh, certain funds that you guys have been using on the CIG platform. Uh, and uh, we are working hard to get those funds loaded. Um, Addy, uh, I mean, we, we, we actually only got the list of the funds last week, so um, perhaps you could just talk a little bit to, to those funds and the fund loading process for those, and, and uh, hopefully a timeline, if you can. I know it's difficult to put a timeline to these. Yeah, George, uh, so I'm, I don't have an, an answer on all of them yet, that, but the names are all names that um, we are mostly familiar with. I think there's maybe one or two which, which we don't have yet. Um, Novia might have them in the background, uh, which makes the loading quick and easy. It's, a, it's pretty much just fun data and kind of linking them to our accounts. Um, and obviously, where it's a, a brand new manager for, for, um, for Novia, they need to initiate a relationship and sign an ESLA agreement, etc., which can take, you know, a, a few months um, if, if all goes well. So, but yeah, still, still reviewing the funds. I, um, as I said, most of the names we know, like Bailey Gifford and, and so on, I, like, I know them quite well. I know it's a good shop. So, yeah, it's just a matter of ticking the boxes and doing a bit of due diligence uh, from our side. But I don't, I don't see any ma major issues there. And we'll keep the team here updated as to as and when they get loaded so that you guys uh, can, can start using them. Uh, also included in the pre-reading, Ron sent out a, a list of our FSCA approved funds, um, which, uh, which we've got on the platform already. Um, happy to take uh, requests for new funds. It goes through a process. Um, so, so yeah, that's, um, uh, that, that's just a process your BDM can manage with you and, and get it through, through, to the, through to Addy and through to the fund loading team. Okay. Um, so the next, uh, the, the next one uh, I wanted to talk about is the, um, the payment of commissions within Hereford. So um, what, what we found is that because you guys are paid through Liberty, we've, um, the, the, the payment of your commissions was getting lost on your statement. And there are some really key uh, times we had to meet within the month to make sure that your uh, commission got paid as quickly as it possibly could. Um, now I'm going to actually, we had to do an awful lot of work because you can imagine the myriad of uh, Standard Bank and Liberty that uh, the payments go through from innate through Standard Bank through to Liberty and then reconciled with us and then paid to you and then how it appears on your statement. Ron's done a huge amount of work uh, on this and I want to just hand over to him if I may. Um, just to uh, to explain where he is and actually some of the uh, hopefully some of the, the improvements that are coming coming your way in that space. 
Yes, hello. Um, so I know Drikas and Giorgio and Kevin had some challenges with this in the past. So um, one of the th first things that was an issue is on your statement that you received from Liberty, your commission statements, the reference is Stanlip, UT Funds, other. So it's not actually a night label. So we are actually um, in communication with IT and they busy with a uh, cost analysis and they're going to get back to us in the coming days to tell us um, what's the cost and what's needed and the expect timeline. And we actually want to change that to Ignite. Um, so that will remove some of the amb amb ambiguous uh, part behind that. And then the other thing is, um, is so Liberty has a, has a, has a cutoff date every month for, for the commission run. So how it works is within the first five business days of the month, we pay over the USD commissions to uh, Liberty in their bank account, which is Standard Bank. So there's three parties involved. Um, then uh, Standard Bank needs to do a FX conversion to ZAR from that USD account. That can take up to three business days. Then Liberty must send us that file again. And on our side, we must recon it and match it with the agents and send that back. And all of this must happen before the cut of, cut of date at Liberty side, which is more or less around the 10th of every month. So we are, we are um, it, is, it is very tight, tight rope we're walking currently. So Zane and I and the rest of the team, we currently investigating to see where we can speed up this process and eliminate unnecessary back and forth. Um, because ultimately we don't want, we don't want situations where we miss the uh, commission run and you guys get, get the, the light of all month. Um, so it's working progress very much. Thanks, Ron. Zane, I know you've also worked hard on this, on the, on getting this information and working this through. Is there anything you want to add to that? You have to come off mute, then. Uh, not, not for now. Uh, I mean, uh, the quick win that we've got is, um, you know, changing the narrative of what the advice fee line is to reflect in eight. So that's something we should be able to get done in the next couple of weeks. Um, and then we are exploring with the team, the Liberty team, to find out if we can get that um, the, the payment cycle and the confirmation of the Rand dollar exchange rate quicker to try and then um, make that cut off for, for every month. So, so there is a possibility that we, we, could, we could win there. So, yeah, but we're still exploring. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Zane. Hi, and we'll Georgina. Keep you guys up. Yeah. Hi, yeah, I might be crucified by the other advisors for saying this, but with cuttles and everything, I, I can understand that you can't get paid in September for September's flow. So, so I appreciate the fact that the commission might run a month in arrears. So that's fine. But what has happened was is, is a couple of months were missed by, commission, by, by Liberty Commission. So you'll find for two, three months, you haven't been paid any commission. And then in the fourth month, you'll be paid for three months. And, and I think that's where you actually need to concentrate is the fact that they actually allocate those commissions accordingly as per month, but lagging with a month. Because if the deal gets uh, canceled, you know, you'll still get the flows a month there afterwards. And, and it's very difficult for you guys actually to get that in the time, in the, in the, in the, in within that time period of when the commission cutoff is. So it's just actually making sure that all, the, all the, that month's commission actually gets paid. Yeah, I, I see exactly what you mean. What, what you want is your expectation managed about when it's going to come, when it's going to come through. So, so we've now got a much better oversight of the, of the process, how it works. Um, and Zane, you know, now he's, he's fully focused on offshore, will be able to work with the BDMs to help you understand what's, you know, what hopefully will be coming through for you this month. We've actually got sight of that now, which we, we didn't necessarily have before or our, our oversight was somewhat sporadic. So uh, so we put processes in place at our end. But it's still early days, Drickers, so so bear with us. We're, we're, we're doing, we might take a couple of months just to get it right, but we'll keep you updated about the whole process as, as we do it. Is that okay? Okay, thanks for that though. Thanks very much. Um, and then the last, the last, um, the last point I want to talk about as to where we've we've made some developments. Um, oh, Drekus, hello, Drekus. Yeah, sorry, this is slightly off topic. Um, with the onboarding process, 
Um, I think I've spoken to Ruan about it before. If I do a proposal for a client, so you do the investment proposal and then thereafter you do the portfolio scan. Every time for both of them, you have to recapture the funds and the client as well. And what I've asked Ruan, can't you save that client so that if I, because what happens is you sit with a client and you say, yes, I would like to have a look at an offshore proposal and you create the quote. And he's like, okay, no problem. Uh, in three months time, I might be getting some selling a property or whatever it may be. Then we find yourself to having to recreate that client again. And that's duplicating work. Now, I know it's a simple process. It takes you five to 10 minutes, but we are very busy people. So is there no way in the back end like Stanlip that first of all, when you do the investment proposal that it carries through to the portfolio scan because the fees are already selected in it um, as well as the fund. So I'm, I'm having to find that I'm having to load the proposal twice for a client. And if I see him in three months time, because obviously the, 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 um, the fund is, funds are outdated, then I have to capture it again. So can't you, can't you save that client and the proposal in the back end and just refresh it a couple of months down the line? Uh, Drickus, you took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, that was the point I was just coming on, and it's absolutely on the back of your feedback about having to recapture for the portfolio scan. If you go to the illustration, you've then got to uh, recapture for the portfolio scan and to capture the client actually in the platform as well. Adi, this is, again, something we've spoken about at length. Perhaps you could jump in here if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, we, we, I mean, I have already had quite quite lengthy discussions with Novia about this. So, um, actually, building a, a database and looking at the entire workflow for that for that kind of all the all of the reporting, it, it isn't like a medium to larger piece of work. Um, so we, we are discussing it with them. It is it is on our radar to to kind of analyze along with all of the other work we have to do. Um, so yeah, there's there's no there's no quick win to to kind of solve the problem entirely um, they, there is however a way of um, enabling a, another report which then brings in some of those reports into one so it creates a, a bit of a workflow for two or three other reports but not all of them so I'm, I'm busy kind of fleshing that out with, with Novia to kind of see how that works and, and whether that works for us and whether that would work for you so um, it doesn't doesn't kind of solve the entire problem but it, 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 it definitely helps so so I think that's probably a quick win that we'll, we'll focus on in, in the short term. And the, the second part of the Drickus raises, which is about being able to save the client, being able to save and go back to it. Mm. Is, is that also on the roadmap as well or, or on, the, on the discussion as well? Yeah, so that would be part of, part of having that kind of database in the background, which, which is part of a user journey, which so it actually goes and you save the client and then from there it's, it's, it becomes a journey and you can go back to any point that you want. So um yeah rather like it will be on local as well okay yeah, super correct. yeah thanks thanks very much adi um so drickers that's that's kind of that is quite a big piece of work we're going for the low-hanging fruit to start with but it's it is certainly wherever we can avoid recapturing uh you avoid errors and that's a big a big thing for us so so um you know, the less human intervention, either on the advisor part or on our part, the better, to be honest. So, so it's certainly a principle and a philosophy we follow. Um, so that was very much uh, uh, what I wanted to speak about, which was around those illustrations. So actually being able to develop your own illustration was a development we brought out very recently before you had to phone into Zane and, and some of his team to get them to, to do it for you. Um, the, the, the medicine we had to take uh, to be able to bring that piece of development was unfortunately the fact that you have to re-key it, um, which, um, you know, uh, as you've quite rightly raised, Drickus, uh, is something we need to get a lot more streamlined at. So, so thanks very much for that. Um, so, so really what, what we're actually looking to, to, um, to get out of today is, is really to get in front of you all, um, say hi, and... Uh, explain the journey we've been on. These are the faces of the people that work on offshore, not just your BDMs, but there's Addy and there's Zane and those team uh, and their teams that sit behind them and really talk about, and, and like I say, kick off this, this partnership because as Mike quite rightly says, um, what we want to do is build something from a service proposition and from a, a product proposition 
that really works for, for you guys. So, so we're working hard. We've made some huge uh, strides already. We need to do more. We know that. But those of you who haven't tried us, please do, please do give us a go. Um, this is about putting the power in your hands, as the, the title suggests. Um, and, and I'd like to, if I may, um, <laughs> I can see some of, the, some of the questions that have come in on the chat, and I'd like to finish with some of those. Um, so I can see uh, Kerwin talking about the bulk, fu bulk functionality for the statements um, and some other improvements there. Uh, absolutely taking that on board. Now, the question we always get asked is the one from Andre that's come in, which is about the wrapper. Um, we knew we weren't going to get out of this meeting without talking about the endowment. <laughs> Dean's shaking his head. Thank you. Um, Addy, again, over to you, if I may, because we have had some quite um, uh, fruitful conversations, I think, in this area. What do you think? Uh, yeah, so the wrapper is definitely in the pipeline. Um, I, I think it's a, it's kind of assessing where kind of how we're going to go about it and how we can do it. So, um, I mean, we've, I mean, uh, George, you were you were more involved in that, but we've got a quote from Novia to do an endowment. So there's there's an option there that that we can do, uh, and that's quite a lengthy, chunky uh, piece of work if we do it through Novia. And um, we do have an endowment within the group. So um, I'm actually meeting with Vimo uh, along with Michael Summerton, um, our head of proposition next week to kind of, you know, unpack the, the Liberty Endowment and how that works and kind of how it can tie into some of the stuff that we're doing through Novia uh, and so on. And then, and then you know, if, if that doesn't work for us, then we'll go one step further to say, look, what, what, would, it, what would it take for us to develop our own endowment or build our own and, and kind of go out to market with that and kind of slotted in. So, so yeah, it's definitely on the radar. It, once again, it is a, it is a chunky piece of work. Um, it's, I don't think it's something we'll have in the short term, but, but definitely, definitely uh, kind of key from a strategic perspective to, to have that within the group. The, uh, the will is, is more, is far more behind it than I think it, it has been before. It's something I've been jumping up and down about um, for a long time is wanting a wrapper. The, what I what I would like to say is is you know that, that every time I, I say let's build a, an offshore endowment wrapper, um, and of course you know there's there's the with PSPs or without PSPs conversation as well that goes with that. Um, every time I say that there there is blood that drains out of the developer's face. Um, you know I've had things said to me that it's like building a unicorn. Um, and, and I know it's really hard. It is really, really hard to get right and, and get those journeys right. It doesn't mean we shouldn't do it. Um, and it's about doing it right. So, so Drikus, you, you've quite rightly put on the chat, what's the timeline for the wrapper? I don't think you should be, well, certainly even just the build I was told would be somewhere around six months. So we're still in the analysis phase. I think realistically, you should set your set your expectations that it will be around about a twelve month journey, um, and you know that and and that's where my expectations are. But but both Addy and I are very much in the camp of this needs to happen. We've got to get it right. You know, there's there's too much too too many flows going outside um, to other wrappers when we could be actually putting in place a really great digital journey. Um, with uh, no paperwork, no signatures, and putting that all through our own group, um, which is which is what we'd really want to do. So the will is far more there than it used to be, and now it's about getting the analysis done to make sure we build it right and build it right for the group as well. So so that's that's uh, that's what I can say about that at the moment. Um, so. Any other questions are, are, that uh, you've got for me or my team um, uh, before I hand over to Mike to, 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 to talk about his experience and where he'd like to go with this? Okay, thank you very much. And thank you, thank you for your feedback and thank you for listening. Mike, would you like to say a few words about where we've been, the journey we're going on, how you envisage where we're going and and really uh you know what you'd like to achieve and what you'd like to achieve together yeah thanks uh, george uh, I, I guess it, as as i said earlier i'm trying to create something bespoke and on on the offshore side i think it's it's very topical 
Um, I think the, the flows are going to start increasing. And having something that's, that's close to the group and having a close relationship with, uh, with yourself and, and the team, Mickey, I think it, it gives us a sense of comfort. Uh, I always say, you know, one of the things that I do say to the guys is don't worry, you've got the, the Dundee guarantee. And I, I, I'd like to endorse the, the Dundi guarantee onto this platform. So if something does happen, um, as I said, I cycle past your house. So <laughs> I, know, I know where to go. It's a little bit more difficult. Yeah, yeah it's a little bit more difficult when, when the guys are sitting in Guernsey or whatever all over the world. So there's comfort that the monies are invested there. And but we we have this close relationship, so trying to trying to create this uh, this bespoke um, look and feel for the offshore platform. Um, I think first prize if we can start um, adding on an endowment that's liberty based, the guys can also start getting credited for that. I think that's and it just makes sense. But um, I, I know that things like this, it's not a one day game. It's um, I'll add on another six months to your six. <laughs> and um, yeah, guys, it, it, it all started where um, I, I, I invested some, some money and yeah, things didn't go as planned. And as you all know me, I'm, I'm a very patient and calm person. So the, the, the poor guy that got the brunt of it was one morning run, got a five, five breathing Sicilian down his throat. And and that's that's where it all, that's where it all started, eh? yeah. and um, I, unfortunately, there's there's certain things like we all know that certain clients something will continuously go go wrong with them. It starts off bad, and it and it becomes a comedy of errors. So I, I experienced something like that, but the way it was resolved, the way um, I think it was just like the way they handled the whole thing. Um, it, it really gave me a lot of comfort, and I thought, you know, this this is this is this is good. This is what I need. I need, I need that. Mark, just relax. Everything's going to be okay. That's that's what I needed to hear, and uh, I've seen it. It it happens. Um, yeah, guys, I, I, you you've got a whole list. You've got a whole list of funds that that are accessible, uh, that are vetted from from the investment committee. So there's. Um, there's comfort on that side that is endorsed from the investment committee. And uh, you, you'll you have a list of, of all the FSCA funds that are approved. Um, if they're not approved, you're also working on those to, to add. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm saying something wrong. That, they, that they're not, we, we, we will be adding on that. Uh, we've made great improvements on the reporting over the last couple of weeks. And I think we'll... we'll We'll carry on increasing that, and yeah, I I I, I, I endorse it. Um, I, I believe that it's a, it's a great platform. It's seamless. It's paperless. There's, it's it's not messy. Um, I can trade with it where wherever I am, and ease of ease of doing business is there, and and the, the clients like it. So for for now, there's there's no there's no issues, and and I appreciate the support from from George and the team, eh? They've been really, really great. I mean, as you all know, I'm so great in admin. So, you know, the Teams meetings that I had actually filling out the application for me. And yeah, I feel like a bit of a doffy, but sometimes I'm all cut. Eh? Let, let everyone do the paperwork for me. So, so I, I believe that they, I, and I always have the term, walk the dog. I believe that they they're ready to walk the the little dashan for me. And uh, yeah, guys, if there if there are any questions, I think this is the right platform to to sit and voice. It doesn't always have to be. No, it's good. If there are some tough questions that have to be thrown out there, go for it. Don't sit in the in the corridors or by the water cooler saying this is this is not not great or whatever but I know you guys are a vocal bunch. You're not going to wait. And if you have any questions uh, that you want to take offline, you can find me, you can find George Ryan, et cetera. And that's it. Uh, Sean, anything on your side? Eh? Yeah, just, just a question from my side. 
<clears throat> Mark can still read my mind even over Zoom. You can see when I've got a question on my heart. But when is um, when is Liberty or Innate going to allow more advisors access to the Innate platform? You know, out of a out of a Hereford group of two hundred advisors, we sit with I don't know six or seven advisors that are accredited to do offshore Innate business. Um, which for me, if if I'm Innate, I'd be champing at the bit to get more and more of those advisors accredited. Can I um, can I say can I say something there, Sean? Eh? Before I gag you. <laughs> okay, so so yes and no, guys. So so the 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 Innate platform is is not for everyone. So as much as it, we'd, we'd like everyone to be on the platform, this is, this is basically a chosen few and, and it will be vetted. Eh? So there's, there's a whole lot of guys that are saying, oh, please, can I go on the internet? And I say, no, because guys, at the end of the day, this is, um, it, it's, not a, it's not a PCR rich or a, a lucrative platform. So we, we've, got, we've got to understand that this is, this is not for everyone and we don't want everyone to actually, we, we, we actually want to, to use our specialists to do this. Um, also for risk mitigation, because when things go wrong on the offshore side, I promise you they, get, they, they, they will be going, but, but properly pear-shaped. So as much as we want to go ahead and say, okay, well, let's, let's give 200 contracts out there and make Ruan smile, um, it, it's, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen today because what we've got to do is that we've got to get the basics right. And um, could we become one of the, the biggest offshore providers in the country? Yeah, we can, we've done that before. With, with numerous other platforms. But this one, the, the slower we go, the better, because we need to iron out, uh, you must be in mind that this is, this is new ground for most of us. Yeah, yeah. And, and um, for now, I, I would still be very comfortable, um, including myself, I still use the specialists where you go to them and say, listen, yeah, mm -hmm. um, I'd rather have 50% of something than, than everything blowing up and having nothing. So, guys, I don't know if that if oh, that cool. if no, that answers. Fine. Thanks, Mike, and thanks, Sean. Anything Georgina? else? Yes, yes. Sorry, just just uh, one more thing from my side. Firstly, before I ask uh, the question, I um, just want to acknowledge Tegan for his support that he gives us in KZN because he does a great job. Um, and then my question is on the. 14th of July, we got um, notice that the quarterly statements were available to be viewed. Uh, we're now on the 15th of October. I haven't had any sight of any anything about quarterly statement, statements being available. Um, is that not something that should have to happen automatically, where we get the actual notification that they're ready to be sent? I'm going to hand over to Zane on, on this one, I'm afraid, Cohen. I, I don't know about this particular issue. Zane, do you, do you have sight of this? Um, we do. Um, I'll have to follow up and just find out why well, we haven't. I'm, I'm pretty sure they are available, um, but we haven't seen communication yet. I'll just yeah. follow up on, on why not. I'll, 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 just check I'll, my, yeah, I'll just check my dashboard. They're not there yet. Okay, I'll, I'll follow up on that, Cohen. They should have been there by now. Thanks, Zane. Thanks, Kerwin, and thanks for raising that. Um, and uh, yeah, anything else anyone wants to say before I wrap up? Um, George, just from my side, uh, uh, I want to encourage all the brokers, keep your BDM close. We, we don't always have all the answers, um, but we, we're willing to, to do the work and make your experience uh, great. And also, please keep the feedback going. Uh, this is very much work in progress. Um, and we, we're in it for a long haul and we ultimately want to get to a point where it really is something fantastic. So please, please keep the feedback coming out. Uh, very wise words, Ron. Thank you very much. Um, and guys, thank you very much for giving up an hour of your time. Uh, I know it's very valuable time and we really appreciate it. And we also, I mean, hugely appreciate your support. Um, and if we can do anything, uh, reach out to us, reach out to me. Um, very happy to, to, to make things work where, where we, you know, where, wherever we can help, we will try. Um, so thank you very much. Um, please do give us a try if you haven't. Um, otherwise, uh, I look forward to catching up with you as hopefully we're able to start traveling around the country a bit more and seeing a bit more of you guys in person. I'm looking forward to that. Um, thank you very much indeed for your time, guys. I'll bring it to a close here.
Thanks, Georgina. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks very much, guys. Bye. Everyone, have yourselves a good day.